Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite products from one of my favorite online stores, violetgray.com. They do also have a brick and mortar store in LA, which I'm hoping to one day go and visit in person. It's such a cool website because it's it's kind of like um like an editorialized, it's like a magazine. It's like you know when you used to <laughs> when you used to way back in the day, flip through a magazine and they would have edits of like 10 best whatever, and they'd have like product pictures or whatever. I loved those pieces in magazines, in the beauty section of magazines. And Violet Gray feels like that, like kind of come to life on the internet. So anyway, big, big fan of their site. They are having a sale, a Memorial Day sale, which starts today. They had early access yesterday, I think for those on their mailing list, but it's open to everyone today. Their entire site is 20% off. There are some exclusions. I'll leave all the details down below in my description box. And if you spend $500 or more, you get one of their black vinyl makeup cases. So I thought I would share with you some of my recommendations. I have a list here. There's about 15 things on here. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Some of the things I have on my uh, face, so I will call them out, but a lot of these products are like body products because now that we're getting into like the summertime, I feel like I wear less makeup and definitely kind of focus on my body skin a lot more, which Every year when I do this, I make the mental note that I need to pay attention to my body skin all year round, <laughs> not just in the summertime, but here we are again. So why don't we go ahead with some makeup and we'll move into some of the other things. All right, first product on my list is the Cure Weiss Cream Blush. You guys have heard me rave about uh, Cure Weiss in general and Cure Weiss Cream Blush being one of my favorite products from this brand. They are an organic beauty brand and their cream blushes are amongst one of my favorites. I have it on today. This is in the shade Desired Glow. Any of the shades are great. The formulation across at least four that I have are all the same. It's not like it varies between any of the shades and they're just gorgeous. The formula is really, really fantastic. It is emollient enough for it to blend out beautifully, but it's not too emollient where it's moving on your cheeks or it's sticky at all. It actually sets down really, really nicely. So if you're into cream blushes, which I feel like there's this wonderful trend <laughs> of more people uh, getting into cream blushes, I have always loved cream products and blush is one of my favorite um, makeup products. And yeah, cream blush for me is just wonderful, wonderful. I just think it gives you such a natural flush. And this is also an incredibly versatile product too, because the formulation is so great. I can use my fingers to apply. I can use a brush to apply. I can wear it under powder, over powder. It's fantastic. So the Cure Weiss Cream Blush, definitely high recommendation here. Another product I'm wearing today is the Surat Noir Lash Tint. I love this mascara. This has appeared in many of my favorites. I really like how it looks on my lashes. It makes my lashes look separated and defined. It lengthens them. It holds the curl. It's not one of those like really high volumizing mascaras, which don't really work for my sparse lashes because they're so clumpy generally. I can't, I can't clump my four lashes together. Otherwise, it'll look like I have two lashes and that's not a good thing. So the Surat Noir Lash Tint is that mascara that does not really have any bristles on the wand. It just has threading running down the top there that catches the product and you just, you apply it as you normally would. I find it much easier to apply mascara without the bristles because that's when I usually get mascara kind of all over my lid and underneath and I'm just not that coordinated. So I really like this wand. It just lays the mascara down and it's pretty magical. So wanted to recommend this from Surat, another great brand that uh, Violet Grey carries. And as for Westman Atelier, you know, another brand that I absolutely love, so many products that I can recommend, but I really enjoy their new uh, Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. I think that's the full name. Um, they sent me a bunch of shades and the shade that I am wearing today that I've just been loving is New New, N-O-U, N-O-U. It's this really light, light pinky peach color and it's just, it's just such a f like flirty, <laughs> feminine, I can't believe I just said flirty. It's a very feminine, pretty spring, summer kind of shade. And you know, this is a, a lip balm. It's a liquefied lip balm. So it's not hyper pigmented, it's not ultra pigmented, but it leaves a beautiful sheen to your lips. 
and it also has like a very light, light, very natural kind of scent to it. It just smells kind of fruity. I think it's some of the oils that are used in this product. Just really, really um, fruity and light, and just everything about this is just a lovely experience. Like it glides on beautifully, it wears beautifully, it feels comfortable on the lips. I love this packaging. This is like a fairly weighty packaging, especially um, by looking at it, you wouldn't imagine that it feels like quite as weighty as it does. So it does have a nice luxurious feel in the hand, just great. So I have been loving this. And in fact, they just came out with a new lip suede, which is their uh, lip product, like in a compact. They used to only have one shade, which is in that red compact. They just came out with like a new version. I ordered that like I like sprained my fingers. I ordered that so quickly. So a review of that will definitely be coming soon. I'm really excited. I really love the red one. It's just fabulous. So I'm excited for these new Westman Atelier products. Uh, the next product from By Terry is uh, a recommendation. It's also a wish list product for me. So this is their Balm de Rose Tinted and I have it in the shade number six Toffee Cream. Why don't I open it up? That would be more helpful. So this is their famous Balm de Rose. Uh, tinted. So this is the only one that I have and I have been meaning to get uh, this shade that is on the Violet Gray site. I think it's number two, like rose something. Anyway, it's like a pink color. That is definitely in my cart. I'm going to pull the trigger after I film this video. Um, but if you like the original Balm de Rose from By Terry, you're going to love these tinted ones because they just give like a little bit of something to your lips. Nothing too crazy. It's just a nice pretty tint. Um, and I think I saw two colors available on Violet Gray. I hope they're not discontinuing this. I really don't because it's it's lovely. It's a nice alternative to the regular By Terry Balm de Rose. And just one more lip product I couldn't resist. I have been talking about this non, at least it feels like nonstop, uh, but this is the Tom Ford Sunlust Lip Gloss. It's part of their limited edition like Soleil collection. I love this lip gloss. I want to wear it every time I put my makeup on. It's like I have to talk myself out of it and use something else. Um, but this just has such cool shade. It's just a cool color. It's partially gold and it's partially peach and it just makes your lips look luscious and full and it's glossy, but it's not too shiny. It just has a really nice finish to it. Like I said, I've been talking about this nonstop, so I'm gonna stop myself there, but this is awesome. And if you didn't pick it up like during the Sephora VIB sale or something, this is your chance. So I would definitely pick this up. This has been a staple for the spring summertime for me. And yes, it is like summertime here in Vegas. And this has been a staple. I even purchased, as I think most of you know, I even purchased a backup of this and I don't do that often. I don't usually buy backup makeup, but when I love it so much, and it's limited edition, I have to do the backup thing. So anyway, that's the Tom Ford Sunlust Lip Gloss. Um, and then speaking of Tom Ford, I do have my favorite bronzer on, which is from Tom Ford. This is the Glow Bronzer in Terra. And like I said, this is the bronzer that I have. I pretty much bronzed with it. I have it underneath my cheekbones, around my forehead, and I lightly dusted it all over. Um, but that's where I really kind of focused it. And I just love the formula of this bronzer. It's a, you know, like a typical pressed powder, but it's very, very creamy. And when you apply it, it kind of just melts onto your cheeks. And the tone of this Terra is wonderful because it's a little bit more neutral than the other shade in this bronzer, which is gold dust, which is lovely. It's a little bit lighter, but it's also a little bit warmer. And I just, I really like the more neutral kind of bronzers. I just find them a little bit more versatile. Wanted to mention this bronzer. I've been talking about this product forever as well. So let's just move on. All right, let's get into some skin stuff. And I have talked about this uh, device a couple of times, but I've been using it pretty consistently. I'm kind of proud of myself. I usually, I usually get a little lazy and I kind of stop using things like this, but that tells me that this product is actually working and I enjoy using it. It's not a big deal to add it into my morning skincare routine, which is when I use this. And that's the Zip device, Z-I-I-P. And it's a micro and nano current device. And it's got the two nodes here and you just work it on your face. It has an app, an associated app with it. So you can sync which treatment you want to do. And so they have 
ones for puffiness, they have ones for hyperpigmentation, um, I think they have like a lifting one, and so I've just been kind of going through them, you know, periodically. And some of the treatments are fairly short, like maybe three, four minutes long, and then there are ones that are a little bit longer. So just kind of depending on how much time you want to dedicate to it that day, you can just kind of change it up on the app and then it syncs with the device. And there's a set that you can purchase that has the device and their golden gel. So their golden gel is their conductive gel, which is what you need to put onto your skin before you start using the device. And this is the best conductive gel I have used. You have to put a nice generous layer down, but any of the other ones I've used before, um, I don't know, they maybe they evaporate or they get absorbed quickly. And I feel like I'm constantly reapplying. I don't have to reapply with this. I pump out a whole bunch. I just spread it all over my face and it's good for the entire treatment when I'm using the zip device. So where I feel like I've seen the most difference and so many of you, thank you, by the way, you guys are so, so kind. <laughs> but many of you have been asking me like, what have you been doing differently? Like your skin looks so great. Like you look younger. I think it's this device. This is the only device that I've been using or the only thing that I've been using consistently over the past, I wanna say three or four months now, where I feel like I'm, I'm really seeing a difference. I feel like my skin tone is more even. I feel like despite my pandemic weight gain of which is becoming a problem, <laughs> but that's a whole nother video. I remember thinking this was late last fall. I wanna say maybe like November, December. I was editing one of my videos and I was like, Ooh, I can see like my weight gain in my face. And I started using this fairly religiously like two or three times a week. And the weight gain has not stopped. Let me tell you, the weight gain has not stopped. But I do feel like my face looks more contoured. Like my cheekbones look more contoured and my jawline, which was looking really sad there for a while, is looking more contoured. And I also feel like I was getting a little turkey neck here you know, which is fine. We're all getting older, th things like this happen, but I make sure to use this device like on my neck as well. And I feel like I'm just seeing like a nicer kind of tightness here, like in my jawline. Anyway, I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna keep using this. I, I think it's really making a difference. So that's the Zip Nano Current device. Speaking of the next situation, <laughs> I have been, well, you know, it's it's this time of the year. I'm just wearing like more revealing clothing here, more V-necks and things. Anyway, I've just been kind of faced with like my neck and like cleavage area and um, have I haven't been happy. I haven't been happy with what I've been seeing. Um, the zip device definitely helping for sure. And I wanted to try this La Mer, the neck and decollete concentrate. This is such a lovely product. And I feel like what it's doing, it definitely has like a very temporary kind of like lifting. I feel like it's really nice when I put it on the mornings. I feel like my skin here looks a little bit more taut, but I have these like neck lines here. I was just born with them. I've always had them, but I feel like this is softening, softening up the appearance of them, which I couldn't be more pleased because I don't think there's anything you can do for these. So here is the product. I don't know if you can see. Um, they describe it, La Mer describes it as like a balm. It also comes with a brush. So I just dip the brush in and I just apply it like with upward strokes. And I start in my cleavage and I pretty much just put it all over my chest and then up, you know, my neck, my entire neck, back of my neck too. The back of your neck is important too. And then I just sort of massage it in with like just gentle, like circular motions. So despite how rich and cushiony the texture is, it actually absorbs really, really quickly. So that's great for me because I use it in the morning and I don't, I don't know, I just don't like that lotiony feeling, especially after I put clothing on, like ugh, that kind of grosses me out. So it absorbs really, really quickly. And I do feel like it's helping just, yeah, just sort of like toning down all of these wrinkles I have. And I have those cleavage wrinkles, which I feel like is, they're smoothing out a little bit. They're not totally gone, but I'm happy when like, I feel like they're just not as prominent and they were looking really prominent for a while there. So I've been using this for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. So I just wanted to mention this to you, but you guys know I'm a huge, huge fan of La Mer products. I've been using them for decades and I just had never tried this product. So I wanted to mention this. And then just a couple of uh, Chantecaille summer favorites. Um, I wanted to mention the Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen SPF 45. I think I just, I feel like I talk about this all the time, but it's a great primer and it also, it does a great job blurring. So I feel like it's also very, very nice all by itself, but I love that it has SPF 45 and it has this, 
very, very thin texture. You have to shake it up. Um, it's a little alarming if you're not prepared for that because you know it comes in this tube and when you squeeze it out, it's very, very runny. So if you do end up trying this out, um, just be aware of that, that it's runny. And if you squeeze the tube too hard, it's just gonna, it's just gonna come right out. So anyway, that is the Ultra Sun uh, Protection Primer. And then I also wanted to mention their CBD cream. So they sent this to me like last year and I used it for a little while. Then of course, you know, I got sent some other things and I tried some other things. And I remember thinking, you know what? I'm gonna go back to that. I'm gonna put this away in a safe place. And I'm gonna go back to this in the summertime because it has a very, very light, almost like yogurt like texture it's just light and fresh and it's perfect for me for the summertime because i'm always looking for something just a little bit thinner in terms of moisturization in the summertime because i have very very dry skin so it's like finding the right balance between addressing my dry skin but also knowing it's like 110 degrees outside and i don't want to just sweat it all off so this is like one of the moisturizers i love for the summertime and i also suffer from eczema and I'm not a dermatologist or anything. I don't know if CBD has been proven to help eggs, but I, I don't know. But I know personally when I use this, my skin definitely feels a little bit calmer. It doesn't feel quite as reactive, which my skin is. It'll get red and blotchy just at the drop of a hat for like whatever reason. And this cream, I'm assuming the CBD in it definitely helps just kind of calm it down. So just wanted to mention that. And I have come across a lovely, lovely uh, skincare, body care brand called Mother. <laughs> I love saying that, by the way. So Violet Gray actually sent me their Contour Serum, which is one of their newer products. And I also have their oil, their body oil, and their body butter. Now, okay, where do I start? So I started by using the Contour Serum. The Contour Serum has AHAs in there. And I was nervous because, again, I have eczema, not just on my face, but on my body as well. It's a different kind of eczema. Anyway, AHAs um, historically in the past have brought out my eczema. So I wanted to be very careful with it. My skin has definitely, as I've aged, kind of aged out of eczema, thank goodness. Um, so it's a little bit stronger. My skin is definitely a little bit more resilient. Um, and so I was pretty confident that this was gonna work. So I just started slathering this on my like shin and calf area because that is the most dry area on my body. My skin down there is so thick and it's so dry that I was pretty sure the AHAs weren't gonna bother the skin down there. And it's definitely the part of my body that needs the most help in, ter in terms of moisturization. So I've been using this day and night, about four pumps for, um, my shin calf area. And at first I was just using this by itself because again, I wanted to see if it was gonna bother my skin. I wanted to kind of see if I was gonna see any sort of effects or anything. And at first I was like, okay, like it seems like it moisturizes my skin a little bit. It has a very typical kind of serum uh, texture. And at the end of the day, you know, my skin needed a little bit of moisturization, but I've been using this consistently now for a couple of weeks and I'm definitely seeing an improvement on my skin down there. It is not as dry as it was. Like my skin's so like scaly, like super scaly and dry, like shiny looking and dry. It just looks, ugh. Anyway, I feel like the effects of this serum takes a little time to see and I'm really happy with it. The package or the insert, something mentioned that you will probably feel like a little warming effect. My skin on my legs, it, it's so thick, I did not feel any warming <laughs> down there. But whenever I have extra product on my hands, I just spread it all over my hands and I definitely feel the warming on the back of my hands when I kind of spread the extra around. So it has like this nice kind of like warming effect, almost like it's telling you it's working. So that is the Contour Serum, really, really lovely. And then they have this body butter and this body oil. Now I started using the body butter uh, before the body oil. I didn't want to use all three at the same time in case one didn't work, I wouldn't know which the product was. So anyway, I layered the contour serum in, then I layered the body butter in. Now I took a video of me opening this up for the first time because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This is no regular body butter. I was reminded of, and I was that kid, I didn't eat it, but I love, loved working with paste. <laughs> when I was younger. It would come in that jar and it'd have that stick right in the middle and I just loved poking it around and playing with that paste texture. That is exactly what this is. And I mean that in the best way possible. I couldn't believe how thick 
this body butter is. So it comes with a scoop. Y you need very, very little. And as soon as you start warming it up in your hands, or you can just start applying it and kind of warming it up, you know, on your arms, on your legs, it starts to break down and it is this beautiful oily cream kind of texture. It's just incredible. It's such a luxurious feeling and it's stupendous. I've never used a body butter quite so thick and rich in this type of consistency. So wanted to mention that. And then this oil, this oil is so rich. Do you see the color of it too? It actually gives my legs, because it has such a rich kind of color to it, it actually makes my legs, I'm excruciatingly pale too, but it makes my legs look a little less pale. And you know what, let me just work it in. I don't know if you can see, but it gave my hand like a little bit of a beautiful like sheen. This oil is so incredible because I feel like it absorbs quickly, but it's not like it just sort of disappears. It absorbs quickly, but there's this nice kind of like layer that's left behind. And unlike a lot of other body oils I've used where, I don't know, I just kind of look like I'm oiled up. <laughs> which I'm not a fan of. This leaves just a really beautiful light sheen to the skin, which I really enjoy. And the body butter and the oil have a nice kind of like citrusy scent, which you guys know I love. So I'm just really enjoying these mother products and perfect timing for me to have run across these now that it's the summertime and my dry ass legs have to be exposed. I feel much more confident about my legs with these mother products. <laughs> All right, last two products I wanna mention are two perfumes from Frederick Mall. I am really enjoying these and these could not be any different from the typical fragrance that I like. And they are both very, very mysterious and sexy fragrances in completely different ways. The rose and leather smells exactly like that. Rose and leather. You smell both notes and they're so different, but they work so well together. I really don't know what it is. I'm wearing it today and I'm smelling it and I don't know how else to describe it except that it smells like rose and leather. It's very mysterious. And despite the rose, I find the fragrance to be very unisex. And I'm just really enjoying that. So that's the Rose and Leather. And then Portrait of a Lady has a little bit more going on. There's a lot of notes in there that I feel like swirl around. I feel like a very sophisticated adult when I wear these fragrances. When I wear my like citrusy light fragrances, I feel a little bit more immature. These are very mature, sophisticated adult fragrances. Portrait of a Lady especially is a very kind of like underground bar kind of scent. And I'm so grateful <laughs> that my friend suggested this Portrait of a Lady scent to me because it really is so different from what I normally go for. And that gave me the, the courage to try this rose and leather. And it's just so great. I never really thought I would wanna smell like roses and leather. Who knew? All right, guys, so those are some of my favorite things from the Violet Gray site. Um, everything that I have on my face will also be listed down below in the description box if you are interested, and let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.